like forward air or like up air. Also, his recovery is getting hit by arc fire continuously. was very difficult for him earlier. So let's see if he changes anything here. All right, this time oh, Cerno like starting knife. on the snake. Okay. Knife is gonna go Terry. That's how he's gonna change. <laughs> like, yeah, I, I'm not gonna like adapt with Terry. I'm just gonna not play Terry. <laughs> <laughs> let's see how you uh, handle how the snake. Yeah. Okay. Let's see how it oh. works. Good stuff on Inharmonia. Trying to go for that, that back air. Understanding there was a dash attack in play. Great angle, Dale. Now Inharmonia shows even more Robin knowledge. Nice dash attack, even able to hit Snake on the low profile. Catches the kettle roll. Okay. That combo is clean. Caught the roll in and was able to get a, a forward smash. Nice, nice. Oh, that was brilliant. That was brilliant. I don't know, buffering that up B in a really bad spot. Just gave in, uh, gave in all the opportunity he needed. Sneaking that up smash. And, it, and you know it's not it's not on Cerno on this one, but like this is a matchup you're a lot of people are not used to. We talked about it earlier, right? We didn't really see Robin come to prominence until we saw Jewel and Angel, and then Grandmaster as well. Not a lot of Robin players out there. Yeah, surprisingly. Yeah. Well, he is very different from most characters, so yeah, I guess it's not really surprised, but definitely not a bad character by any means. No, not at all. Might even be, I would say, even better than uh, Smash 4 in this game. I agree, I agree. Robin is definitely much better than Smash 4 duration. I want to go with a quick shout out to the stream here for you guys. 300 plus viewers. Thank you guys for the viewership. Definitely helping keep the lights on. We do this for y'all. We are fire there on the shield to try to slowly come back. Sneaks in the floor on. Okay, and Harmonia has the plays. Yeah, our inharmonious Thoron usage is like some of the best I've seen. He like um his hit conversion rate on that move is really ridiculous. High. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Nice. Just gonna heal. He doesn't get the max heal because he's not facing behind him, but mm -hmm. still, it's a really good command grab when you can get to work. Anyway. Nice. Baits out the down smash. Cool. Quick punish though, because that down smash has a cooldown. Yep. Cerno kind of getting greedy with that down smash. I love that. I love that. You can see he's like, hold the shield for me. If you're going to come oh, aggressive here, here's my punish. Dude. Oh, that roll. That roll was so costly. The thunder and the up smash is just so much percent, man. Okay, he doesn't have 11 sword right now, so a little bit better for Sarno, but still, he, he's... Oh, my oh. God. He heals so much, but he couldn't come back from that. Right? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't even matter. <laughs> wow. I don't know what it is about Inns Robin, but he just seems a, way faster than what I'm used to seeing other Robin players, and, and very aggressive too. Yeah, like he's just constant pressure when this guy is on the stage. It's a mix of movement and that Thoron L Thunder usage that you really see that Enharmonia just puts in a lot of pressure on his opponents. That it's like that's why you see Cerno roll. It's because it's like there's all that pressure. Cerno has to get away to get some breathing space. And when Cerno does, it's not the best call because there's still something else in play, whether it's an arc fire or a roll to a catch. Therefore, it's kind of funny, but Inharmonia is playing to the tactician level that you see Robin as the character tries to in, pretty much embodies. Yes. I think that's no pun, no pun intended. Though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, let's see. I, I, I think Cerno switched off a snake. Yeah, I, I, won't, I agree with the chat here. Uh, SGG underscore SSBU definitely says bad call with the slake. Slake. Snake. Not gonna lie. And I agree with that. That snake was a bad call here, but here comes the Terry. We'll see if Cerno can get anything moving with the Terry here. We saw how that was a 3 0 in the winner's side. We'll see how things go down on the loser side with momentum. It looks like we don't have a choice but to go Terry. <laughs> yeah, man. I think the snake, like. Snake's not bad in this matchup, I feel, but if your projectile usage isn't good, like, I don't think a pocket snake is going to be good enough to beat in Robin, because he's going to out uh, projectile you if you're not great with grenade usage. Look, but, man, if I'm in grand finals, I never dig deep in my pockets until it's the last opportune moment. 
and giving up game one as Snake was a really rough call, but you can kind of see how Cerno is handling the Robin, even with the Terror. Yep, gets the... Oh, great DI. Getting out of the power dunk set up there. Ooh, oh! I did. That is guaranteed, by the way, in case you guys yeah. forgot. <laughs> oh, oh miscrime. Let the fly. He's letting them fly because he knows what. Why not, man? You got the go meter. You, you're trying to kind of get back in this set. Nice. Changing it Great. up to the rising tackle. Yeah. Um... Using the tilts and the jabs at the ledge is so strong there because you can be holding down while you're doing those moves, and if they roll, you'll automatically turn around. Mm -hmm. uh, and that was good on the Thoron because you see that the arc fire is in play. It catches the neutral get up or the jump get up, and then Thoron will definitely just catch the roll get up. A lot of coverage there. No more Levin Sword here though, so he's up there. Uh, mm -hmm. Robin's pressure won't be as strong for a little bit. Actually, like the power wave there to uh, clink with their uh, projectiles of Robin. And okay, so he tried to SDI out of that power dunk there, wasn't able to do it. But um, oh my god, Cerno with a huge, huge call out on the forest smash. And also, he's just been consistently being able to uh, get away with power dunk jab. Nice. Oh, oh my. He's not okay, dead, great dude. The what? Okay, this guy's crazy. He might yeah. die here, yeah. Yep. He went he went too crazy there. That was, little that was a little too much. A little too much. Calm down, man. He actually he... tried to just spike the hell out of him with the, the power dunk. Alright, and Armonia, good on the get up attack there, trying to change oh it up God. rather than yep. the get up arc fire. Get the attack to Thoron for 43%. Uh oh. Oh, get good heals. Attack. Yep, he's gonna jab again out of shield. Not dead, but very close to doing it. Mm hmm. Okay. DDI. Nice. Watch out Forcing the jump or the shield. Great play. Yeah. He's going to roll away from that uh, power dunk setup again because he knows he's going to press buttons. Ooh, caught the roll, but not the sweet spot. No more Levin Sword here, though. Nice. Good use of the no jump. Peter is active. I think right now, yeah, you can see Inharmony is going to run away a little bit. Get the whip Sees the jump. Can. And now the Levin Sword is back. There it is again. Power dunk jab every time. He has to just... Uh, he can't drop shield there because you know he's just going to press buttons. You, you have yeah. to respect the mash there. Uh... Honestly, I'll just I'll just hold the shield pressure in that situation. I'll I'll just let him jab do the full jab on my shield, because uh, unless he does a um yeah, if he's just gonna mash jab, it's fine because he can't do the uh, up tilt power geyser shield breaker thing. Right, 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 right. I'll I'll just gonna, hold but like, if you think about it, in in Armonia's case, like it's kind of a damned if you do, damned if you don't, right? Like if I. If I don't drop the shield, it could get shield break with the rest of the moves that Cerno can pull out with Terry. So it puts you on the like a really hard call opportunity. And if you try to roll the mini, you open up your shield, you might get caught by one of those moves. So it's a really tough spot for an Armonia to be in. All right, All right here. Well, that's good for Cerno. He's finally took a game. Yeah, yeah, Terry. definitely. He got 3 0 pretty badly in the winner's side. So it took Cerno losing a snake to realize, okay, maybe I can do this with Terry. Yeah. We'll see, we'll see. I feel like there's still a lot of room for both players to adapt to each other here in this set. So. Okay, we're going to town. Uh, hello? Oh. Or not? Or not, okay. I was a little bit lost for a second. I was like, hold on, was that me? <laughs> Did somebody disconnect? Yes, someone disconnected. I was like, hold on, something happened. Let me... that steve y'all y'all ready to <laughs> are you guys excited ready, for steve y'all ready to build i don't even know how to make some minds bro 
Oh I'm my god, there, there, he there he is. There he is. There he is, man. Give me all the diamonds, a lot a lot of creepers and I think they did, <laughs> they did they did show how you can select different versions of the stage by button inputs. Bro, so who cares? Cool. It's banned. It's banned. We don't care. We don't care how many versions of the stage you can select, man. It's banned. We you never don't play on it. We haven't had another stage added to this game at all. No. Why do they keep making all these stages for DLC and none of them are legal? None of them. Bro, not a single one. You know, I had hope for that arm stage. And they're like, oh, wait, hold up. Look at this spring thing on the side. <laughs> I, actually Bro, had hope, I actually had hope for Joker stage for a second, but it was too what? bad. How would you have hope for the Joker stage? Like, it has all those slants and it's huge. What were you thinking, bro? I said I had hope. Clearly it was misplaced, alright? I had hope, man. I never said I still have. I had Dark. past tense. Man, what, what, do we, what do we got? What character do we have to get to get a legal stage, man? Oh, yeah, yeah. And the stupid ceiling, too. I forgot about that. Oh, he's back. Okay, then. Mementos have potential? What potential? What? Alright, so without further ado, after I cut this what? video, we're, guy, we're bad guys. Sorry for the break. <laughs> <laughs> what? Wall Battlefield is DLC. Get out of here. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna stop reading Twitch chat. Y'all wild. <laughs> anyway. So let's see if uh, in the break time that gave in Armonia enough time to th figure out how he can punish Cerno for doing full hop power duck jab. If you guys are wondering team. what happened, um, Cerno happened to have a mistake with the router. <laughs> time skip. Yeah. I edited the video. No worries. Did you notice that Terry flips his hat backwards when he does power dunk? I actually think it's pretty cool. How does he, like, just look at the animation. I know, How does I know, he find time to do that? Like, he, there's nowhere that he actually does that in the animation. It just automatically gets flipped backwards every time. Look at how many times he's spamming it. How many times is he going to flip his hat forward and backwards? This dude's he's... looking like Ash from Pokemon, dude. Like, he's about to catch a Pokeball or something. Or, never mind. Throw a Pokeball, not catch a Pokeball. Anyway, he might die here. He's going to go high. Yeah, he has the platform. Oh. Does Thorin have a sweet spot? Oh, jeez. Dude, I don't know why he's no, still alive. No, Thorin, right Thorin doesn't have a sweet spot. It's the whole hit. From what I've okay. been told. Now he's dead. Yeah, we going to the ledge? Nice, nice patience. Oh, Ooh. and he sees the shield. Yeah, give me that. Give me that. Give me that health back. That's actually really smart. Cause oh, excuse if you for did, jumping in. If he did neutral to get up or roll, he was probably going to get hit by a tilt or jab into a uh, kill move. Oh, yeah, give me that health back again. Nice. He actually lapped him in percent from uh, Nosferatu alone, pretty much. I was going to say, like, the, that was an excellent play from Inharmonia. It's just because Cerno's Ooh. holding shield at the ledge and trying to get something out of shield and trying to punish Inharmonia, and that gives Inharmonia the actual time to either put something on shield or punish Cerno for being on shield. Oh, great yeah. smash. Sheesh. His arc fire use as a ledge is so good. Yeah, and that's the thing. Cerno's holding shield to get ready to punish afterwards or just hold it. But in those situations, Anarmonia can just get Nosferatu. If Cerno is close enough to the ledge. Go back here? Oh, nice, I saw that. Bro, you thought that had it. landing lag? <laughs> it don't. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. He almost got hit by that forest smash again. That's how he got clapped the last game. Oh, I kind of wish the downer did the spike because he... He could have did like the ground bounce from the spike into like an up air or something. But it's fine. It still did a lot of damage. And for those of you guys yeah, wondering, we... Cerno is Ooh. from Texas and Enharmonia is from Colorado. Nah, they're from Wi Fi. Oh, yeah. Well, I guess so. Yeah, Wi Fi, sure. Why not? Wi Fi is its own region. It is its own region. It has its own rankings. That's true. Oh my god, that was the worst DI on 4 throw you could have done. But it's okay. He's alive. Watch out for that 11 sword. Ooh. Oh, wait, hold up. 
Hold up, hold up. Where oh. are you gonna land? Oh, he dropped shield. Is it? Oh, almost gets the snipe. Yep. Nice, nice, nice. That down smash has ridiculous range. See, he can he can afford to just hold shield on the full jab. It's fine. Jab three isn't like super safe. You saw that there. He, like he just shielded the whole jab combo, and he was able to roll out and get the down smash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like those power dunk jabs he was doing before, he could just hold shield on all that and then get a punish if he wants to. So uh, game that was game four, right? Yeah, game four. And Armonia is currently up two one on Cerno. Cerno with a, with only one point from loser side of bracket. So Cerno has quite the hill to climb. I hope Cerno is not going to go to that pocket snake we saw game one. Of course. Smart things happen, so no, it's not going that snake. It's gonna be all yeah. with the stage choice. I don't think snake's coming back. Me, either. I hope not. I hope not. Yep. That free 34% up air rising tackle. Ooh. Nice. This guy, might be the, this guy might be the power dunk master. We need to get a power <laughs> dunk counter on Cerno right now. Look, Cerno is probably the type of person you see play basketball and they put their whole hand in the ring. In the rim, sorry. Nice. Nice air to air. Oh, Ooh. Good back air okay, to punish okay. that arc fire. He could have oh. died. Oh, wait, he did die. Ooh, yeah, because you don't auto good. snap the ledge from Rising Tackle. And it oh, puts Terry's no. hurt box out there. <laughs> nice up smash out of shield. <laughs> he was immediately able to hold shield after that. Great up air, though. He actually hit him before he could fall down with his power dunk. Oh. Cerno's starting to get a read on these power dunks right now. Or sorry, I meant to say, in Armonia is getting a read on these power dunks. Oh, good roll. This Has to go for the full jab, yeah. Down air? I don't like him holding the ledge. Yeah, I don't like that. I don't like that edge guard choice. Grabbing the ledge and back airing. He can just go out there and do like a power wave or like an even well-timed uh, aerial to intercept Robin's recovery. Nice arc fire. Sets it out there. It's giving... And Ramon, oh. a little bit of space to come back towards center stage. Great call out with the up air. Gets the left in sword. Yep. And Armonia sees he can just uh, get out of the pressure of the power dunk mm -hmm. by rolling out. Oh, but it, it's go time. Yeah, he, he yeah and Armonia has it. to be careful. Good arc fire to hold the shield there on Cerno. A little Did bit of a charge. That? Calls the aerial out. Oh, he's got Thoron? Oh. oh my god, I don't know why he's alive. Oh, look out for the book. <laughs> oh my god. That was a great play. Yeah, and it reads Ooh, the up. Roll. The book was right there it. in the setup and the arc fire. It was a lot to amount for. Yeah, and Harmonious Robin's very good. Nice, give me that for heal, please. Oh, he's going for another one. I actually, and I actually like him abusing the heals because the book of uh yeah Nosferatu, the yeah Nosferatu book actually does the most damage correct if he throws it oh you only get five uses of Nosferatu and he got like two out of three of them were heals so like he's fine yeah okay. yeah we good <laughs> sorry man power dunk jab not working no more you got mixed yep. up and oh, that lemon oh. sort kind of covering that that opportunity there oh this Shield is rough Cerno Andy <gasps> habits are getting exposed really badly right now. He's got to mix yeah. it up a lot if he wants to bring this back. Almost has go meter. Yeah, 3% away from go meter. Oh my god, he got past Thoron though. Down to that ledge. Nice. Hold shield. Careful. But yep, unfortunately, you know, like the shield that, like after... That. That, yep. was good, that was good. That was good. So you that was a see... great block thing. Mm -hmm. He mixed up the timing too. To make it really uh, hard to know when he could safely uh, drop shield. That was nice. And that was going to end Armonia to just immediately DI away. So that you could just fall off the stage and not worry about getting comboed afterwards. Just take the L, come back with the help. From the Angel platform. Call out this jump. 
I mean, see yourself with here. the W. Another air to air from Inharmonious, catching that jump habit. And uh, yeah, that'll do it. Inharmonious with the two set wins over Cerno, gonna be the MSM champion for tonight. Two, sorry, three one, only dropping one game to uh, Cerno this whole tournament. And uh, yeah, it's great, great stuff, man. Great use of the.